Hello friends and welcome to this video. My name is Nuruti Patil and today we are going to see the Newton's forward interpolation method. Suppose we have given the values of x and y. The x value starting from x0 to xn minus 1 and y values from y0 to yn minus 1. So if the x values are equispace, that is the difference between the consecutive values of x is similar for all the values, then we can use the Newton's interpolation method. Similarly, when Newton forward interpolation formula is used for interpolating the values y near the beginning of the set of the tabulated values. And also it can be used if the values of y is little backward or left hand side of the y0. Then we can use the Newton forward difference table if we want to find the values nearer to the starting of the table. If we are want to find the value at the end of the table, then we can use the Newton backward for interpolation formula. And if the values are at the central position of the table, then Newton central forward difference interpolation method will be used. So today we are going to see the Newton forward interpolation method. And it is applicable only when the x values are equispace. And also the we have to find the values at the beginning of the table. So the Newton forward interpolation polynomial is given by yg is equal to y0 plus u into delta y0. So where delta is the forward difference operator plus u in bracket u minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into delta square y0. So here it is the second operator forward difference plus u in bracket u minus 1 in second bracket u minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into delta q y0 plus and this value is repeated so on up to the delta raised to n minus 1 terms that is a forward difference of the y values up to the n minus 1 terms where n is the number of data points and we can here u is nothing but the value of xg minus x0 divided by h and xg is the value of x at which we have to find the value of y and h is the difference between the two consecutive values of x and here the h value is similar for all values of x. Now we have to prepare the forward difference table because we require to find the delta y0, delta square y0, delta cube y0 and so on. So this is the forward difference values of y and for this purpose we need to draw a forward difference table. So prepare the forward difference table first. The x values and y values are given to us. So first two column will be the given values of x and y. So this is the x and y values given starting from x0, y0 up to the xn minus 1 and yn minus 1. Now next column we have to prepare the first order forward difference that is delta y column. So in delta y column the first value will be the forward difference that is the next value minus the current value that is here the next value is y1 and current value is y0 so here you will be get delta y0 will be y1 minus y0 <coughs> sorry in next row we have to calculate the delta y1 which is next value that is a y2 minus y1 similar fashion next value will be delta y2 which is y3 minus y2 and this process is repeated up to the last value. So at the last we get <coughs> delta yn minus 2 is equal to yn minus 1 minus yn minus 2. Here it is the next value and here it is the current value. So this difference will be get. Now for this cell there is no next value so we don't get any value here so we have put here the dash value. Now similar fashion the third column we have to prepare for the second order difference. So it will be prepared in a similar fashion taking the forward difference of the values and this process is repeated up to the n raised to minus 1 order. So in this way we have to prepare this forward difference table and to calculate the value of yg we only require the first row tabulated values that is y0 delta y0 that is a first order difference delta square y0 and so on up to the delta raised to n minus 1 y0 values. Now let's solve one numerical in this the tabulated values are given and we have to find the value of y at the given value of x that is 1.5. So to preparing the solution we have to write this given data 
here the given data is n values n is 4 and the value of x that is denoted as xg is 1.5 so first can h values so h value is consecutive difference that is x1 minus x0 which is 2 and u will be calculated as xg minus x0 divided by h so we will be get its value as a 0.75 now we have to prepare the forward difference table so according to the previous slide we have prepared the forward difference table so we get the x values y values will be written as it is, as it is. then first order difference will be 24 this will be get by 29 minus 5 so we will get 24 then second value we will be get by 125 minus 29 then third value will be 341 minus 125 so similar fashion this 72 will be get 96 minus 24 and 120 will be get by 216 minus 96 and the last value will get 120 minus 72 that is 48 so in this way we have to prepare the forward difference table and then putting the first row values in the yg formula we can obtain the value of yg so first write the yg formula here yg need to be written up to the n raised to minus 1 here n is 4 so we have to write up to the n raised to minus 1 that is a third now in this formula we have to put the values of u and y0 delta y0 delta square y0 it means from that for our difference table we need the first row values so these values put in this yg equation so we will be get this formulation and by solving we will be get the answer as 18.125 and at the last again we have to write the result that is yg is equal to 18.125 at the given value of xg is 1.5 again if you observe the xg value 1.5 <coughs> it is in between 0 and 2 and we will be get the value of y is it in between 5 and 29 so our answer is correct now in SPP examination the numerical may be asked for the 8 marks so the mark distribution is when you calculate the values of u and h you will be get 1 marks for preparing the forward difference table you will be get 3 marks writing the yg formula and putting the values you will be get 2 marks and getting the final solution you will be get again 2 marks so this is the mark distribution for this SPP examination if it is asked for the 8 marks now then we are going to solve the similarly second numerical in this we have to obtain the forward difference polynomial so as you read the problem carefully here it is given that obtain the forward difference polynomial so we need to write the yg formula in terms of xg without putting directly the value of xg which is given as 0.25 so again write here the prepare the newton forward difference table so it will be prepared again similar fashion and now calculate the value of h and u and now don't put the value of u directly by putting the value of xg here we can write the xg value is as it is and then putting the value of x0 and h so we will be get u is equal to 10 xg minus 1 by eliminating this denominator now put this u value in terms of xg to obtain this forward difference of polynomial so yg formula we can write up to the n raise to minus 1 that is up to the third forward difference operator and putting this first row values and <coughs> h values we can get the yg formula will be written as 1.4 plus 10 xg minus 1 into 0.60 that is delta y0 value and again putting delta y delta square y0 values now no need to calculate the third difference operator and fourth difference operator as there is actually a zero value so multiplying by any value to zero we will get zero so we are restricting up to the second order difference and now we will be get the polynomial equation in terms of xg that is 2xg square plus xg plus 1.28 so when it is asked to obtain the difference polynomial then do not put the u value directly you have to put the u value in terms of the xg value then and then only you can obtain the forward difference polynomial and then it is asked to interpolate at x is equal to 0.25 so putting the xg value as a 0.25 we will be get the answer as a yg is equal to 1655 which is at xg is equal to 0.25 
Now again this numerical may be asked for the 8 marks. So mark distribution is again same. For the difference table will be get the 3 marks. Then calculating U values will be get 1 marks. And then obtaining the polynomial difference will get 3 marks. And finally getting the value at 8G will be get 1 marks. So this will be the <coughs> Newton forward difference interpolation method. Thank you for watching this video.